Did we have two pits in top eight? In this top eight? No. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, well, I guess... It's a Merlin play? Yeah, if you count Merlins. Anyway. I mean, why wouldn't I? Yeah, no, you, you would, you would, you would, you would. Just All right, as... So, let's... We're about to jump into Hazy Maze Cave because... Here we go. Yep, this is going to be We Fit. <laughs> we Fit versus Banjo. Although, I should more say We Fit versus Ray because... I mean, I, I'm curious. I'm sure he has a game plan. I'm sure he knows exactly what he has to do against a John Number style Wii Fit. But as we already saw, this is, as you you mentioned, the most aggressive Wii Fit you've ever seen. Uh, yes. That might take Rotopian Ray off guard. And actually, as we're seeing, it's pretty even. Yeah, and it's, I'm, I wonder now, uh, like, I, I didn't talk about this much in the... I, I feel like we didn't get a, uh, an opportunity to talk about this much in Utopian Ray's last set, but I'm very interested to see what role Wonder Wing plays here. Just, just like, okay. All right, so right there, like, you can't charge smash attacks for free. That was something that uh, Nine was doing quite a bit we saw earlier, but... Oh, the follow-through. Okay. That's the second time I've heard Banjo's Star KO voice line. That doesn't sound like Banjo. It just sounds like a like a guy. That sounds like someone's bad sounds impression like me of Banjo. If I got Star KO'd in Super Smash Brothers, it's like whoa! It just sounds like a human person. Banjo anyway. is a man. I, 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 Banjo, <laughs> Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Manjo definitely has a mustache. <laughs> Let the record show, Devin like Nash a handlebar is. mustache. <laughs> That's great. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I, please, you have to warn me, Devin. Uh, is that, anyway, is that back Devin to this, people on, his on their toes? Back to this game. We have a really good lead for nine at the moment. And it's worth stating that uh, earlier on, I think not, Utopian Ray was favored to take this tournament. Um, mm. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, and as we're seeing, 160%. And uh, it doesn't even feel like he's close to death. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's actually true. And I feel like that kind of goes both ways. Um, like if okay, no, all right. So if if Banjo isn't finding the strong hits, the forward airs, the up smashes, the the, the back throws, if the, that sort of thing, like. I'm gonna get, all right, I'm, somebody is gonna hear this and be like, what the, what the hell is this guy talking about? I, it's like, if you if you look at it from the right angle, you can kind of see what I'm talking about, but like, Banjo can kind of struggle to kill sometimes. Well, I it agree. It doesn't look like it, it, thank you. Thank you, I'm so glad well, that you agree. I, I, I agree because, specifically in neutral, if the opponent messes up a little bit, he doesn't just be like, okay, you messed up, now you're dead. I appreciate you so much for taking my point and making it sound smarter. <laughs> Um. Oh, thank you. Oh, so sweet. Is he dead? Am I dead? Nobody's dead all? somehow. <laughs> this, this is purgatory. Just... This is dead. This is Devin DJ Soundport purgatory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. There was definitely. I feel like you definitely song. would have a better purgatory sound effect in there. Hey, it's on short notice. We will amass the the giant soundboard database for every. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I can't wait for your final evolution, Devin. Uh, and all right, so that's okay. it—a two stock for uh for nine there. And oh, fal fa fracture. I I you say it, fracture Falcon. Fracture Falcon. Uh, thank you for the my homie. Yeah, thanks for the sub. All right, so yeah, that was, that was you know okay. That th this is gonna be an oversimplification, and I mean if 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 ninety percent of ninety percent of commentary is oversimplifying things, so um <laughs> and and but, the ten percent is overcomplicating things. Yes, thank you. Um, but that was like that game to me was Super Pi being able to do ev like whatever he wanted with Wii Fit Trainer.
and Utopian Raid not really getting to play to Banjo's like strengths or win conditions. Like that was that was Super Pike like uh, just asserting themselves on this matchup. So I'm wondering if we're gonna see a little bit of what happened with uh, Z minus, where game one, you know, Utopian Raid took a very defensive play style and in a way I think studied the habits, and then game mm. two all of a sudden then he punished hard. Um, yes, I feel like that he's gonna. I, I think this time around, Utopian Ray is going to try and put the fear in. We'll see if that actually be. works out. But yeah, like already he's throwing out these Wonder Wings, trying to catch landings. Uh, ooh, nice recovery there. Yeah. Uh, and the, and the Wonder Wing, like, uh, this is uh, not to be blunt, but like the Wonder Wing has to hit to be scary. And like, if 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 Super Pi is, is feeling this confident. That they can move and jump around and not have to worry about uh, like you know a, a stray wonder wing just taking their stock at 80 then moves doesn't seem that quite as scary Man, I, I, it feels like every game one that bray has is just him studying and learning his opponent and then the second game two starts all then it's like okay and now i understand he's got he's got the slow start ability from pokemon <laughs> Attack and speed are halved. Other, other but, uh, yeah, but jump. unlike Reggie Gigas, like, yeah. I would say Utopian Ray is very viable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, other variation of that joke is uh, the, from the Fire Emblem game where the guy's like, I'll wait patiently for my revenge for 30 turns. <laughs> but, then you, but then you're donezo. All right, using a I lot of Wonder Wings. I don't know which I've never played a Fire Emblem game, so... I think he's going to do an infinite recovery thing here. Oh, no, he just makes it back to ledge. Okay. And he's getting extra damage. Oh, oh, wow, wow, that's a lot of damage. Wow, living. Okay. All right. Not living. Yeah, that, that time throwing out that neutral air, which is faster and long-lasting, but the fact it has a much smaller hitbox meant that uh, mm. Nine was actually able to punish for the kill. Right as I say that... I. Excellent lead on that ledge roll will lead to another stock. This is a complete full stock lead for uh, Utopian Ray. Now, th yeah, so like this is this is where Utopian Ray can really step on the throat, but like it, that has to come with not letting any weight of trainer shenanigans happen. Yeah, I will like, say just, one of the just, biggest uh, one of the biggest one, parts yeah. about Utopian Ray's neutral game is when he finally calls out the jump. Like, you know, he throws mm. out these grenades, he throws out all of this pressure oh. with the eggs, and then he, like, goes in for, like, a short hop up air, or that neutral air we saw before to, like, actually punish them, you know, trying to jump. And that's when he gets his big damage. That's when he gets his big hits in. Yeah. And, and this is this is also where, like, the economy of Wonder Wing becomes really, really scary for Super Pie, because you have to dodge... So you basically have to dodge all seven Wonder Wings that Ray has left in the tank. Like maybe you can take like maybe if you get a KO here, you take one of them off the board, but like you have to not you have to dodge every single Wonder Wing from here until the end of the game. And the fact we're on FD means that the landing is gonna be really tricky. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright. Five so five left to go. Now And it's not it's, just Wonder Wing either. I will say, though, I feel like if Nine wins this game, it's not going to be through, you know, draining Utopian Ray of all this resources. It's going to be oh, no, no, getting no. a really crazy combo, putting him off stage, and doing some disgusting things. Speaking of which, um, already 63%. Oh, oh God. If, he's at Nine. Oh God. He's oh, God. He's at kill percent. I'm terrified. The backwards hit of up tilt is not enough to do it, but look at this 146%. Um, <gasps> That grenade gives him stage positioning. Up air is not enough to finish it, though. No, and the back no, air! Not like this! What a comeback from Super Pie. Holy that was cannoli. That was incredible. Just yeah, was... FD backfiring on Utopian Ray because he got put above him and then just was not able to find an effective way to get back down to the ground without taking all of this damage. That was actually the god like this the the alacrity from Super Pi in eliminating that percent deficit and putting Utopian Ray into kill percent. Uh like that went from manageable to 
like deep breathing F tilt to oh my god the percent lead is gone to game in about 45 seconds. Like no opportunity to you for Utopian Ray to really rest back control once that last stock situation started, which is crazy because Super Pi was at kill percent the whole time. Ready? And now Utopian Ray, after having what looked like a really strong game two, he's down 2-0. One more game is all nine needs in order to be in grand finals winner's side. Yeah. And against a, against a player like Utopian Ray, you would love to be in, uh, you would love to be in winner's side grands against Utopian Ray. Don't worry, they're not actually playing. They actually, they actually went to okay. the, I don't even know, Con not Congo Jungle, but here, they went, uh, they went here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the that's the Rishi Jungle Jam stage. Yeah. That stage should be legal. Yeah. I yo, shout out to RJJ. Uh, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> I genuinely believe wholeheartedly Mushroom Kingdom U with Hazards Off should be legal. Which stage? Mushroom Kingdom U. Devin, the I'm gonna have some one. more of my ramen. You got this one, buddy. All right, that's fine. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I have a crying sound effect. <laughs> Do you give it? Give it to let me. Let me see if I can find. Let me. It. Let me make this a, t a cry duet. Uh, I don't know if I can. I don't know what the hell it'd be called though. It like there's so many I have from uh, DK64. It's actually crazy. You know, I'm really surprised uh, that, like, Utopian... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, Excuse there, me? there's just so many. Do you, do you want you want to say that again to my face? What? Three, <laughs> two, one, go! Uh, what an opening. Just immediately goes for the Wonder Wing. Uh, maybe that he's trying to set a tone for this game, because last game he was doing very well with a more hard-hitting, aggressive approach, or at the very least middle. He was committing to his moves more. Uh, and, you know, going for Wonder Wing immediately at the start of the game, there are very few things more committal than that. But as it stands currently, not working out for him so great. This is about 44% on 9 and 74 on Utopian Ray. Neither of them are quite at death percent, but as we saw before, the damage output on Wii Fit Trainer combined with just how strong some of her moves are, especially when she has deep breathing, means that probably within another hit, it's... Oh! Okay, she didn't get deep breathing. Now she does. And, oh, completely dead even game, actually. Wow. Utopian Ray uh, ledge trapping. Um, very, very effective. Has not lost a step. Um, I gotta be honest, you talked about setting the tone at the beginning. The only tone I have in my head right now is a freaking Devin 3000 clown horn. <laughs> It's, it's <laughs> next time, the next uh, time, like, a, like Wonder Wing. Next time he kills with Wonder Wing on the replay, just play that sound uh -uh, during hit lag. Can somebody just like make a mod that like changes <laughs> all of Dan Bandra's hit sounds to the the, the clown horn? <laughs> oh, every every single hit, including the multi hits. So like neutral will just be a a, a a cacophony of clown horns. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's like the car. They all come out of the little, the, the little VW buggy. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Yeah, as Banjo, you don't really have... It's not like you have a spike that you can effectively go down there and hit him with. Uh, at least yeah. not without losing his own stock. Yeah, and that's not a trait you want right now. Definitely not. Although, honestly, he might go down a full stock. Like, two stocks here. Because... Even though, even though nine is at 184, okay, he does manage to take that stock. Because if he, if he, I felt like if he lasted much longer, he would have gotten to like 240 without dying. Oh, goodbye. Oh. Great conversion. Yeah. Yeah, Utopian Ray kind of realizing that part of his pathway to victory is maybe a crotch edge guard, and so he's starting to go deeper with that sort of thing. Maybe, but that's like that, that never that that falling there never does more than that. Like you never drag them down farther than that. So like, if we put trainers making it back every time, like all that is is like oh. very very high execution damage. But low execution Where's high damage is wonderful. Where's our clown horn, man? <laughs> God damn it, guys. <laughs> Uh, he does only have two Wonder Wings left, which, you know, that's not like a, 
uh, if he runs out of them, it's not like it's a lost cause. But at the very least, once those Wonder Wing resources are gone, then Nine doesn't have to play around it. And also, edge guarding gets a lot easier. Well, doesn't Banjo have an infant recovery? Well, I mean, like you, you don't have to, you don't have to respect it nearly as much. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> something you ate? What? Is that no, something. something you ate? That was like that was a Devin sound. I, like oh, it, okay. it's like it's like yeah, he does, but it's also like kind of wrong because it's just like takes him wow. forever. Wow. Okay, so don't look now, but uh, Super Pi is on on the ropes right now. Or maybe do look now if you're a Utopian Rage fan. <gasps> but this is the same. Okay, this back throw. I don't. Game. I don't know if this is gonna do it. Oh, it definitely okay. will. Wow. Yeah. That. You know. <laughs> I have no hope of getting through a sentence. <laughs> this is like, Devin has too much power now. Oh he's, God, he's, yeah. I'm it's, just it's, like watching him evolve into like a, like a, a, a destroyer of worlds. You, you yeah. guys are enjoying it too much. So I must, I must, uh, I must comply. We stop be being stronger. so funny and we'll we stop enjoying it. <laughs> All right, so we, Utopian Ray, despite being down quite a bit in that game, managing to get the comeback. He was the one making the comeback this time, yeah. and he's still alive. It's he's still down. It's one to two. One more game is all Super Pi needs, but uh, maybe that Utopian like Ray. As we said before, I feel like the longer the set goes, the more and more he adapts and figures out what he needs to do. So we'll see if that actually rings true. Mm. Yeah, just die at 60, my guy. Why not? Oh, man. <gasps> nice super pie just pie. subscribe. Wait a minute, but if he wins the tournament now, he doesn't get a free sub. No, no, no. I gifted him the sub because he's already in top three, so it works out. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, I guys, thought he, like, top mid three gets sub. Oh, my he's God. He's alive? He's alive. Right. Wow. Oh. No, Marco! <laughs> what a turnaround. <laughs> what a kerfuffle. Oh, what a kerfuffle good that was. Lord. Good lord. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the ledge. <laughs> no. Oh, and now now Utopian Ray. I don't know if Surf would that gave Utopian Ray extra gas in the tank, or whether it siphoned a little from what Super Pie had, but look at the way that Utopian Ray is playing right now, managing to get all of this damage, all of this control. Yeah. Well, we have seen Super Pi get super serious comebacks already in this set, but at this point he has to recreate that magic because he is down by quite a bit. Oh. Okay, but like getting the getting the hard work done though. Just needs to finish off this first stock here, and then we can. Okay, that's a that's a. Uh, that is a stock finished off for Super Pi, and like. A small, a slim margin here, but an opportunity to get some some, some damage in on the second stock for Utopian Ray. Ooh. Already 62% dished out on Utopian Ray. And once yeah. again, we said that, you know, although Banjo has lots of kill moves, getting a kill in neutral can be really tricky. Yes. And we're seeing that once again, especially how slippery the way that Super 9 is playing at the moment. He's at 152, and it's just like, well, oh, how do I actually get in there and clean up this mess? And, I mean, at this point, like, the, the, opening, the opening gambit from Utopian Ray and to find that edge guard is like almost a non-factor at this point. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my God. It just, it just oh, wow. That was dial-up sounds. Yeah. But also like, is that a call out? Oh yeah, it was a call out on everyone's part. Okay, okay. Well, I, I feel I like feel half of that was called out right now. Okay, half of that was calling people. They were calling each other out for things they weren't doing. You know. That that was that was tell that was a telegram. All right, but 
you know, Utopian Ray didn't get down too much. He managed to clean that stock up really quickly. Wow. And now and he is once um, again in control. Uh, that was definitely a miss hit for Wondering. He was probably trying to be reverse down B. And uh, as it stands, like, 96%, that's a lot, but... You know, he has to find one of those big hits to actually finish the deed. Otherwise, as we've seen before, Super, Super Pi can just live forever and then kill him first. Oh. And you see the um, you see the amount of respect uh, that Utopian Ray is showing to Super Pi in this situation. You don't, like, you don't want any part of deep breathing here. <gasps> whoa! Oh, whoa! It was so good! That was like the only option he could actually hit within that situation. Oh and the my upside. God. You talk about Utopian Raid jump callouts. Holy crap, there's one right there. There's one for the history books. Yeah, and now what? If, <laughs> uh, sorry, every time I hear Banjo's victory scream, I uh, just I giggle. Um, <laughs> but every like a, a, these games it always feels like it can go either way and it always feels like both players are on the back foot constantly um but yeah. now we have this is it's coming down to the the total end here two to two next game takes it we do have counter pick advantage going to um uh super pie but i feel like the stages where he normally likes to go uh could possibly also be the stages that utopian ray likes yeah, and as you saw right there, he double jumped be right before he got hit by that down air, which is why he mm. died. He might have been able to recover if he had known that his jump got stolen. Uh, I'm unsure, though. That down air looked like it was meaty as heck. Three, two, one, go! And it's going to be PS2 to close out this set. Oh, Okay. And this this looks like this looks like it might be figured to be a bit of a chess match here. Or a shooting gallery. <laughs> what, you don't play chess in a shooting gallery? You don't play fun. sniper chess? I heard <laughs> <laughs> No, my king! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. You slay like me. Uh, the, the funny part is that, like, when when Devin does this, Devin can see the. I'm, I'm assuming that Devin can see the caster cam, so he can see me just like look straight down. But yeah. Any, every time he does yeah. that, I'm not even looking at the game anymore. I'm like, it's not even that I can't even talk about it. I can't even follow the action because I'm like in a fetal position, sitting. Uh, yeah. Speaking of the game, quite a bit has happened while we've been uh, praising Devin for his comedic timing. As. This is More a like huge mercy. lead for, uh, this is a huge lead for Super Pi. Only 50, oh no, Pie. oh no. He can't make it back, but, oh, he doesn't even have to burn another, um, Wonder Wing. Yeah. Was, but still, he took damage in the process, and now he's been lapped in percent. It felt like Utopian Ray was maybe starting to really figure this out, but whatever adjustments he made, they were countered by, uh, Super Pi, because look at how dominant this is at the moment. Yeah. Although, like cleaning up this edge, like finishing off this edge guard, I mean that's that's that could have been Utopian Ray's at, like, avenue back into this set or at, into this game and this set. Like this this set is this game is all right. I'm just gonna give up on that one. Anyway, <laughs> words suck. It, they're really hard sometimes. People think they're hard. People think they're not hard. They're really hard sometimes. Yeah, I like the fact that Ray is oh, get out of here. Yo, that's a clean that is a clean cleanup. Yeah, and it it reminds you how scary every single one of those grenades are. Not all of them hit, you know, because he also uses it as a spacing tool, but as soon as one connects, if uh Ray is already, you know, engaged in following through on it, he can combo he can combo into like some of Banjo's strongest moves. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Devin. What's uh, up? Drinkers, drinkers, swap, drinkers, waffles from a shell. <laughs> San Francisco show and tell. I, Did I get you? No, I don't know this. Oh, oh, oh I'm quoting Babylon Sisters. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh. Drinkers faster than Michelle. Oh. That's pretty Whoa. good. Devin and I, Devin, okay. Well, while the screen, game's man. going on, Devin and I are just sharing a wholesome Steely Dan moment. Yeah, my Steely Dan brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, meanwhile, Super Pie has Utopian Ray on the ropes. Oh god, we fit trainer deep breathing at the ledge is one of the scariest like like that like we fit trainer standing with deep breathing at the ledge is a ledge trap. Oh, and one of the scariest ones in the game with that. Honestly, I think there's nothing scarier than we fit trainer power walking with her with deep oh, breathing. Oh god, yeah. Cardio through the roof. Oh, that's a that's a scary jump. You do have like you have to respect that range around around banjo right now. Yeah, and right now Topian Ray needs to clean up the stock. He actually gets hit by yeah. that sun rotation, forfeiting all stage control that he finally managed to garner. And like oh. you know, this is a banjo. You know, this is a banjo man because they're not like swinging unnecessarily with up tilt or or forward tilt or up smash or something like that when that can get them killed. But like you gotta find. Yeah, okay. It's all right. And Small margins here. Yeah, and we fit trainer. This fact that she has things like forward tilt and you know back air and back throw. Yeah, she okay. doesn't like she doesn't struggle to kill in neutral like Banjo does. Don't and that's actually to going to be Utopian Ray dropping yourself. to losers, uh, as we now have Super Pie in Grand Finals winner side. Great stuff All to right. him and yeah. There you go. Uh, that's, I like, I mean, based on the, how the, the early parts of that set played out, I don't think you can look at that and you, you, you can look at that and call that like a super unexpected result. Um, like Super Pike clearly had a, a, like a firm command of this matchup and also of this character. Like I was fully expecting the, the Wario. And Super, I haven't seen a lick of Wario yet. Super Pike, I think made some promise to that effect, but um like this is this is clearly a like fully armed and operational we pitch trainer and it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a real force to reckon with in grants because like this is like if this we fit trainers warmed up and ready to go and they're willing to, to switch off to the to the wario like you have two very drastically different characters that you're gonna have to go up against and both of them can blow you up